Hi, it's Elvir, and I wanted to talk to you for a brief moment about the formula of success. Uh, most likely you have read a lot about it, you've learned a lot about it, you've studied it, it's all in your head and you probably know what to do. And I know that too. And yet, you know, I didn't really believe it all. But uh, last weekend I had a talk with somebody who's actually very dear to my heart. It's my brother who came over and I asked him what made him so successful. And he just gave me the bullet points, basically. And I'm looking at it differently now. So I wanted to share those bullet points with you and hopefully you can do something with it. I certainly can. First of all, you gotta have a dream. Well, I asked him about that and he said that he had a dream when he was 12 years old. He didn't tell me the dream and that's okay, I don't know I don't need to know what that dream was. Then he said that he ma he mapped out a plan of what he was going to do. And he stuck with that, even in his teenage years. And he was determined to, no matter what, continue on. And he did. And I know that there were quite some obstacles on his path, being his sister. I've seen it, but I didn't know everything about it, of course. He also said that you've got to be focused and stay focused. Don't get sidetracked about by anything that comes along that may sound more exciting or whatever. If you have a dream, stay focused. Totally stay focused. Then what is important is you got to have somebody. you got to find somebody to hold you accountable, but also for feedback. That is very important because otherwise you just keep on going. You think you're going in the right way and maybe um, you could change a little bit. Maybe somebody gives you an idea, gives you a suggestion and that helps you. But you're going to stay focused nonetheless. But being held accountable for what you're doing is very important. Then, of course, we all get sidetracked for once in a blue moon. And when you realize that you do get sidetracked, that you off your track, get back on it immediately. Do whatever it takes to get back on track immediately. Drop everything else. Get back on track. Very important. Don't waste time. Don't waste time on frivolous things either. You can do that if you want to when you are very successful and making a lot of money. But in the meantime, when you are on your way, do not get sidetracked for those kind of things. Forget about it. What he also told me is what I had learned before, and I have actually never done that, and it's so vitally important. When you reach a point, because you map out your plan, and there are you know certain points you go like, okay, when I've reached that point, then I will continue on. So when you have reached a certain point, when you have when you have reached a goal, if it's small or if it's big, it doesn't really matter. But when you feel you've reached a goal that you've set for yourself, celebrate. Celebrate yourself totally silly. Just go to the movies, have a couple of big beers or glasses of wine or ice cream, whatever it is. Take a day off, go to the, to the beach, to the park, to the zoo, whatever it is. Go out, do something. The movies. Celebrate yourself silly. Very important. At the same time, while you are building your life, building your success road, you got to hold the faith. Hold the picture, of course, but hold the faith. Be hopeful all the time. And then also be very grateful. Be thankful. Be grateful. Even for the obstacles that come onto your path. Because they will teach you lessons that you need to move on. To move further on in your life. You will need them later on. And then no matter what. Keep going. Keep going and feel good about yourself. Just constantly keep going. Because once you've had the dream. And everybody has the dream. We all have a dream. Just... Think about it. If you need to meditate about it, if you know it, that's great. But if you don't know, you have a dream. There's somewhere in deep in your heart, there is a dream. So bring that dream out again, no matter what age you are. It makes no difference. Bring the dream out, uh, map out your plan, stay focused. No matter what anybody says to you, stay focused, keep going, and you will reach your goal. And that's the most important thing. Also, what I have learned is the person is somebody to hold you accountable and somebody you can fall back on to give you feedback. You can run your ideas by. Best is, of course, if that's your family, because um, if you have a very good relationship with your family, they will tell you what you may want to improve, where you need to tweak it or that you're that you're not really on the track of where you want to go. So that was what I just wanted to talk with you briefly. I am so privileged and, and I feel so privileged and honored that my brother just gave me some insight on what he did 
Um, I, he's older, that doesn't make that much difference, but he has truly created a life for himself and for his family that is phenomenal and is admirable. And he literally now has a great time in life. He does what he wants to do. He works. He will probably never stop working because he loves to work. He's his own boss. He has his own consulting business. And he's just a wonderful man who truly is the embodiment of a dream. And if he can do it, we all can do it. So I wish you success. I hope you'll find your dream. I hope you know your dream. Start writing it down. Writing it down is most important. Don't keep it in your head. Don't keep dreaming about it. Write it down. Map it out. Take the steps. And um, have somebody to uh, to talk with. Hopefully a partner or a fam family member. And um, just go for it. Because you know what? You came with a mission. And we're all waiting for you. So good luck. I look forward to... Uh, to hearing your name and hearing that you have achieved big success. I will keep you posted of my success. Thank you.